I just wanted to uh, say the past 11 days have been really tough for everyone. Everyone is in pain and trying to make sense of it and we never make sense of it. And I know it seems hard, it seems impossible, but that's how we honor him and let people know we're there for them and check in on people. The tragic death of Stephen Twitch Boss has left the world surprised, and no one is more shocked than his co-worker and friend, Ellen DeGeneres. The two were extremely close, which is the reason Ellen had a mental breakdown after hearing the news. Let's look at what she said. But before we continue, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel so I can bring you the hottest tea every week. Known for his remarkable dance moves and infectious positive energy, Stephen Boss touched the lives of those who knew him. His wife, Alison Holker Boss, reminisced in her statement to People magazine. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement, and his positive impact will continue to be felt. I am certain there won't be a day that goes by that we won't honor his memory. Stephen Twitch Boss, who rose to fame on So You Think He Can Dance, later worked as the DJ and co-executive producer of The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Following the news of Boss's passing, there was a tremendous outpouring of support from both friends and admirers. Actor Channing Tatum, who starred in Magic Mike XXL alongside Boss, shared a message about how shocking this loss was. Tatum wrote on his Instagram, my head or heart cannot understand this. I love you. I'll see you again, my friend. Until then. Michelle Obama, Kris Jenner, Jenna Dewan, and many others in and out of the dance world shared their condolences. His former co-worker, Ellen DeGeneres, took a while to share her response, which shows how heartbroken she must have been after hearing the news. On December 15th, the comedian posted a heartfelt tribute on Instagram from the show's final season, where she showed appreciation for the two's friendship. She captioned the tribute, Right now, what I want to do is remember all the love and laughter I had with Twitch. The montage retold the story of how DeGeneres and Boss first met. She became a fan of the dancer after watching him on So You Think He Can Dance, and he was assigned to teach her a routine in 2010. They hit it off, and the rest was history. She said in the video, That was my initial love for him was we just bonded over learning to dance together. In the video, Boss thanked the host, saying, Something that I always remember is that you gave me a place where I could just be myself. Twitch seemed to enjoy his time working with DeGeneres on The Ellen Show as well. He told E! News, You know, there hasn't been too many gigs where you feel it every day and build a genuine love from front to back. Then he mentioned that he loved the audience's energy and that he was blessed on a daily basis while he worked on the show. And now that the news broke that the dancer died. DeGeneres shared a touching Instagram post. On December 23rd, DeGeneres again posted on social media. Hey, everybody. Um, I just wanted to uh, say the past 11 days have been really tough for everyone. Everyone is in pain and trying to make sense of it, and we never make sense of it. According to TMZ, the dancer committed suicide. On the evening of Twitch's death, his wife, Holker, reportedly rushed to a Los Angeles police department station in a panic because Twitch had left their home without his car. This was something new for him because he didn't have a habit of disappearing without information. On the morning of December 12, 2022, the day before he went away, Twitch checked into the Oak Tree Inn Motel in Encino, California, according to sources who spoke to TMZ. He took an Uber from his residence to the motel and put his phone in airplane mode to avoid being tracked or contacted by anyone. On December 13th, housekeeping knocked on Twitch's door after he failed to check out by his scheduled time of 11 a.m. and did not answer their calls. When there was no answer, management opened the door, saw a body on the floor, and immediately called police. When paramedics responded to the call for a medical emergency there, he was discovered dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the bathroom at roughly 11.15 a.m. Employees at the hotel told TMZ that when Twitch arrived, he didn't appear to be in trouble or visibly distressed. What do you think was the actual reason behind Twitch Boss's sudden death? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. And if you want more information about this tragic incident, do watch our next video, The Ellen Show, Twitch's wife, Allison Holker, reveals the real reason he passed away.